Hello everybody, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. Thank you guys so much for waiting for me, number one. I was running late today. Hi Wendy Sue, welcome. What time is it? 18 minutes, whew. Okay you guys, <laughs> so as of 3.30 today, we were still in the woods. And we got out and we had to go back to camp and we had to get all our stuff and I had to um, get on the road. It takes me three and a half hours to get home. I left at 3.30. I'd say I made good time. Glad I didn't get a speeding ticket. And once I got home, I haven't showered since Friday. So I was a little smelly and I needed to take a shower. So my hair is wet, I got my crown on. <laughs> we have some great projects that I'm going to share with you tonight, but I do have to tell you, I'm a little bit um, less prepared than normal because usually when we're out hunting, I am done by about noon, one o'clock. And so getting racing home like that is totally out of the norm and I had expected to get home and do a few more things before my Facebook live tonight and that didn't happen so um we'll see how things go <laughs> so first of all who is so super excited about the new holiday mini catalog that went live on Wednesday Yay! Now I can finally show you the inside of this when I'm looking at it or I want to share something with you. So I'm super excited about that. Please remember, if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to earn your business. I'd be happy to send you this um, holiday mini catalog. Just let me know. And uh, posting a comment here to let me know you need a catalog, probably not the best idea. Email me at kelly at stampabove.com and um, make sure you send me your address. Hi, Mary. Hi, Angela. Arliss. Welcome. Kathy. Heather's on tonight. Yay. I have to tell you guys, I called Steve from um, the stoplight in Menasha, and I said, honey, <laughs> and he goes, wow, you're really pushing it for Facebook Live tonight. And I go, I know. Can you please make sure the front door is unlocked? And when I pulled up and jumped out of my truck, not only was the door unlocked, but he was standing there holding it open for me and said, what did he say? He said, don't kiss me. I know you smell. <laughs> so I headed right up the stairs into the shower because I hadn't showered since Friday. Ew. <laughs> We had a great time up north. I love my bear hunting friends. Those are like my people. And um, they're very funny and sarcastic and everybody has a nickname. We've got Beef and Booza and Sneeze and Go-Kart and Sunny and LH and everybody, everybody, all the guys I should say have a nickname and they are just so much fun to be around. We had a great time. Um, we, we got three bears, and for those of you that are anti-hunters, that's all I'm going to say. Um, don't send me any little hate comments because it is what it is. I grew up hunting, and I love it, and it is what our family does. So, oh, thank you so much. Debbie says, breathe. You're worth the wait. I so appreciate that because I really was racing in this house. And I do have to say, I feel so much better since I took a shower. Ugh. Um. Okay, what else is happening? Update on Steve. Steve is doing great. He actually started driving a little bit. He's doing all his exercises for his physical therapy, and he's getting, um, what did he tell me, 97% out of his knee or, or something like that. I don't know, but his knee is doing really good. He actually went and stayed at somebody's um, cottage. A friend of his has a cottage, not like an hour from here and he went and stayed a couple days with him and did a little bit of fishing so that's really good news and um, I got to spend the weekend with my mom my mom and I and usually Haley we go bear hunting and um, Haley had a bachelorette party for her best one of her best friends that she had to go to so she couldn't go with us so it was just me and my mom and um, my mom is 74 years old, and yeah, she still loves to hunt. So I, like I told you, it's a family thing, and, and we really enjoy it. So I didn't have any problems getting home. Um, that was great. The traffic was decent. No problems there. Did you get a rug? <laughs> I don't 
don't actually have a tag, Linda. Um, so we hunt with a big group of people and um, they had tags. And so that's how we get to hunt every single year because Wisconsin has a lottery system. And it takes six to seven years where we go to get um, a tag. Jen says it's 97 degrees there. Jen, it's fall here. It's totally fall weather. It's only in the 60s. Um, I was really glad too because my air conditioning doesn't work in my truck. So I was worried about that because it's gravel roads and when you're running up and down them, it's dusty and dirty. And, and if you have to have the windows up and it gets hot out, ugh, it's horrible. But we didn't have to deal with that. So that was nice. Marcia says she's not sure how to get the comments on. Marcia, if you're watching on your phone, you should be able to take and swipe your screen from the right to the left. Just swipe your screen, I think. You guys help Marcia out with that and let her know. How can she bring the comments up on her screen? I think you just swipe your screen. Um, I'm not sure either, but um, <laughs> Patty says she's so afraid of those bears. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> So anyways, we had a great time. Um, I did not get a chance to draw our winners from last week. So I just wanted to let you know that I will be doing that after I'm done with the live. I will, um, I will do the drawings for the winners and also show pictures of the prizes and I'll post it in a Facebook post. And I apologize for that because like I said, I just didn't expect to be running this late today. I'm, we're usually out of the woods and done by noon. We were yesterday, I think we were out by one. So, and we got two bears yesterday, right? So, yeah. Um, so I'll be doing that after we're done with the live. And what else can I tell you about? Um, oh, buy three, get one free. Yay. So our designer series paper, we have 10 different kinds of designer series paper that when you buy three of them, you get one free. And I have those on my blog. They do not include any of the holiday mini catalog designer series papers. And they don't include the Noble Peacock um, foil papers. But uh, most of the other ones are included. But there is a list on my blog that you can check out. But make sure you take advantage of that because it's only once a year that Stampin' Up! gives away a designer series paper. And it is this month now. So... Um, the other thing that was really exciting is I released the first kit class that I have had in many years. And I can say that I had an overwhelming response to it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, have I created a monster here? <laughs> but I'm super excited. Um, so if you would like information on that, it is a kit class that uses um, Gather Together. I'm trying to find my stuff here. I don't even know where it is. Um, yeah, that's how discombobulated. Here it is. I got it. It's right here. It uses the Gather Together stamp set. And I know this is backwards, but um, we'll flip the camera around in a minute. The Designer Series Paper Come Together. And also the Gathered Leaves Dies. The Come Together Ribbon Combo Pack. What else was in there? Paper, combo pack. Oh, and the wooden elements. Hang on. Ooh. Let me grab those. Let me grab the whole kit here. Oops, things are falling. <laughs> so we have these wooden elements called tags and feathers wooden elements. They're super cool. Um, they're little wooden elements that just pop out of here. One side has a white pattern on it. The other side is plain. You can use whichever one you want. Here's the feathers. But this whole whole pack of elements, the whole pack of ribbon, and the half a pack of the designer series paper comes with the kit. And the kit includes, let me show you, enough cardstock to make eight cards. All the layers are in here and cut except the designer series paper, which you get your own half a pack of paper to use with the cards. There's four different designs, two of each. And here's like the little baggie with all the little die cut elements and extra ribbons in here. And then there's um, four exclusive videos that go with each card showing you how to do it. So the kit is $36 if you just buy the kit, which comes with those products. If you would like the stamp set and the dies, it's $81. That includes tax and shipping. And I will have those kits 
I'm hoping to have them out in the mail by the 21st. So Nanette says she's planning to sign up. Yay, Nanette, thank you so much. Um, you're so surprised. Somebody's so surprised I went hunting without my husband. Yeah, well, my husband doesn't like to bear hunt the way that we do. So um, he applies for his tag. He can only go every six or seven years because Wisconsin is on a lottery system. But I hunt with a group and we can go every year. So that's that's the difference there. And um, both of us hunt a lot. He's he's a big bow hunter. I love to bow hunt also. But um, he goes out to Nebraska every year bow hunting. And um, he was going out elk hunting to Colorado. And I don't go with him on those. So he doesn't come with me on the bear hunting. <laughs> Yeah, it's weird. I know, we're kind of a strange little family here. But anyways, that's the whole kit. And you'll find the um, sign-up form. Sorry, I've still got hair that didn't go where it was supposed to go here. Um, you'll find the sign-up form on my blog from Friday. And also, another great card that I created with this whole bundle of products. So let me set that stuff down so I can get it out of my way. I have some cards to share with you that I received this week. Now, I'm gonna mirror my phone, so just hang tight here. Let me remember how to do this. And here we go. There, boom. <laughs> um, if you sent me a card and you don't see it on here today, it's probably because it's sitting in the count on the counter in the kitchen where Steve puts my mail. And I haven't opened it yet, but I'll get it and make sure I share it next week. So don't worry. We got this beautiful card. Um, this was actually for Steve, and it was from Terry Mullinex. And Terry, I hope I say your last name right, because I know that's the way I always say it. But check this out, you guys. With de deepest sympathy, Steve's dad passed away a couple weeks ago. And look at the little pocket. Isn't that cool? So she used my layout challenge for her card, and then she made a little pocket. And I thought that was so cool. So thank you so much, Terry, for sending that. That is just so thoughtful and kind. Then we got, um, Steve got another card from, um, oh, hang on. We've got Kelly, 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 and oh, well, I'm gonna share this one with you. This is from Rachel DeChant. Rachel, I hope I'm saying your name right. And there's a note in here too. So hang on, let me get this out. And it doesn't want to come out. There we go. Okay, it just is an address sheet. But are you guys ready for this? Because it is stinking adorable. Ready? Look at how she used the giraffe for the H in ouch. Now, isn't that creative? Super, super cool, right? Yeah, this was from Rachel, and this was for Steve. It says, I hope this card brings a smile to your face. Keep up the rehab and ice, 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 baby. Ice, ice, baby. <laughs> I thought that was really fun. So thank you, Rachel. I love that card. Then Kelly got some cards. That's me. <laughs> I got a card from Beth Puffer, and look at how pretty this is. Yeah. Now, I'm going to untie it here. I opened it and tied it back up real pretty so you could see. This was one of the layouts that I showed you guys earlier in the year, right? And then, and, okay, let's see if I can open my own card. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. And Beth was sending a card. Thank you for all the inspiration um, on a weekly basis. It's a big help. And she's happy to be part of my team. Beth is also on my team. So Beth, beautiful. Thank you so much. Then Sharon Jones sent me this really cool card. And isn't that pretty? This was made with the paper pumpkin kit from August. That was such a gorgeous kit, right? And it had that add-on that you could add on a bunch of cards to it. So... Thank you so much, Sharon. This was so pretty. She said, this is just one of the versions on Pinterest. Great set, but so huge. Yeah, it was really cool. So thank you, Sharon. And then we have Brooke Berger. Look at this one. You make me smile. Yeah. And look at the inside. Isn't that nice, the way she did this? So it says, I told myself I wouldn't buy any more stamps until I have used all the ones I have at home. And then I laughed and laughed. <laughs> Right? That's silly. <laughs> but what a great card. Yeah. Thank you so much, Brooke. That was really cute. Um, here's another paper pumpkin from Sharon Jones. Look at how pretty that is. Whoops. I love what she did over here. And then 
Again, this was the layout design that I shared with you guys a couple, two weeks ago. Look at that. Oh, let me peel this off of here so you can see this. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, Sharon, thank you so much. And um, she entered this for the challenge. Perfect. And then we have Mary Pucker. Yay, Mary! I love this. I love this butterfly. It's so simple and crisp and clean, and I love it. And um, Mary was just sending me a thank you. I sent her um, something in the mail, and she's thanking me for it. So that was sweet. And then we have a little note from Donna, Donnie Drew. And look at this one. Yeah, I love this too. Very crisp and clean and simple. I love this kind of card. And um, she got the Floral Essence stamp set. So she said she's putting them to good use this afternoon. And she's almost out of cards. So <laughs> she's making more cards. Yay! But yeah, another really crisp and clean and quick design. I love that. Okay, you guys, those are all the cards that I had sitting in my office. Now, again, if you made a card and sent to, sent it to me this week, um, it's in my kitchen where Steve puts my mail, and I will open it and make sure that I show it next week. Um, yeah, and I'm wondering if I should just keep my Facebook Live on Sunday night at 7. Were you guys okay with me? I posted a thing saying, I'm running late, but I'll be there. Was that okay with you? Because I don't want to like disappoint you or hold you up or make your Sunday night crazy or hectic or let me know. Let me know what you guys think about that. Because if you're, if you know, if I'm going to be late again and I can just post on there because I, I stopped, um, I think in Stevens Point and I just quick typed a little thing saying, hey, you guys, I'm going to be on at 7 p.m. But I'm running late, so it'll be a little after that. And then I'm so sorry about the wrong graphic. I pulled the wrong graphic in my 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 little blurb that I typed up said I'd be live at 7, but my graphic said 6. So I hope you guys realize it's, it's always supposed to be 7 o'clock. And I apologize for that. Okay, so I have some cool cards to share with you. Um, I might be a, dis, a little discombobulated because usually I have a little bit of time to go over what I'm going to do. And I've usually made the things that I'm going to make today. But instead, I made them last Thursday, so that creates a little bit of confusion for me. It's easy to confuse me. <laughs> Don't let all this kid you. <laughs> I am easily confused. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to mirror my screen back. And Oh, you guys are so sweet. She said it was so worth the wait. Thank you so much. Uh, Mar Marcia said, had a screen on full so I couldn't get the comments. So now you have them working. That's awesome. Okay. And I'm going to unmirror my screen. We're going to flip now. So if you get motion sickness, um, close your eyes. Where's my thing to flip? Here it is. See how easy it is to discombobulate me? There we go. <laughs> okay. Let's get this in here and get it straight. I do have my phone plugged in, so you don't have to worry about that. We're not gonna lose our power here. Well, that was the other thing. So my cord for my cell phone, I don't know if I stepped on it last night or what happened to it, but it didn't charge my phone overnight, so then I didn't have much battery power today and I can't plug my phone in in my truck when I have the CB radio for bear hunting plugged in so it's just a whole thing whole thing going on okay I'm gonna bring you guys up on um, my screen so I can see comments coming in hang tight here we go and here we go okay here it comes Sometimes you run late too. Somebody just said thank you so much for for being um, very patient with me on that because I certainly did not expect to be running this late tonight. All right, we are going to. I'm going to show you another card with the gather together. Now, if you guys don't have this stamp set, I really recommend it. Um, it is a beautiful stamp set. You can make beautiful cards with it. I've shown several cards using this stamp set. And I really do love it. Okay, here we go. I got my little measurements here so I can tell you guys. Oh, I have to tell you too. Um, I've been up since 6 o'clock this morning 
Oh my lord. I know for some of you that's late, but for me it's very early. I usually don't get up till nine because I'm a very um I'm a late night person. I stay up till two or three in the morning. I've been up since six six o'clock this morning, and then I was out in the woods all day, and then I had to drive home three and a half hours. So when I get done tonight, I'm probably going to bed, or I'm gonna go spend a little bit of time with my husband because literally I ran in the door and he just moved aside so I could run upstairs and take a shower. And so um, I'm probably not going to get this blog post done until tomorrow. I just want you to know that. Again, I expected to be home in plenty of time for this not to be a problem. So here's what we have. We have a piece of Blackberry Bliss. And I love Blackberry Bliss. It is such a rich, beautiful color. Hang on just a second, you guys. because I'm going to bring my uh, laptop in here so I can see your comments. And I see my battery power is only at 57%, so I better leave it plugged in. I had to run into town last night to the grocery store parking lot because we don't have any inner, we don't get service at the cabin where I stay. Hang on, things are falling. Oh my lord. <laughs> my whole basket just went over the edge. Well, I needed to straighten that out anyways. But, um, so yeah, last night I'm sitting in a parking lot. In Park Falls, Wisconsin, at the grocery store with my laptop on my lap, answering emails and doing things. I needed to do some things. And, um, yeah, that's what I have to do when I go up hunting. <laughs> this is eight and a half by five and a half. And I just fold it in half and burnished it good. And then I have a piece of pumpkin pie. This is three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. And I will type up the dimensions for all of these and put them above the video once we're done being live. I can go in and edit it and put all these dimensions in here if you guys want to recreate these. Then we have two pieces of Whisper White. The smaller one is three and a half by four and three quarters. The bigger one is four by five and a quarter. I have um, a scrap of our copper foil paper. I also die cut a three inch circle. This uses our layering circle dies and this is the pattern of paper. It has wood grain on one side and the um, Cajun craze with the pumpkins with the greenery coming out of the top of them on the other side. Okay, I was just like, where did my card go? Because I totally lost my card here, but I found it. You're also going to need some scraps of um, pumpkin pie and Cajun craze. So, where are those? I don't see those here. Hang on just a second. Pumpkin pie and Cajun craze. Cajun craze and the pumpkin pie. Okay, here we go. You need some scraps of those. So we are going to take our Blackberry Bliss ink pad. And I'm just going to move some of these out of the way here. I've got my pumpkin pie scrap. Oh, I know why I didn't have a pumpkin pie scrap here. It doesn't matter. You could stamp it right on the layer we're going to use on the front of our card if you wanted to because you're not going to see it when we put a layer over it. But we're just going to use the scrap for now. So I'm going to stamp those two pumpkins and I'm stamping them in Blackberry Bliss. And then I'm going to stamp the bigger one in uh, on the Cajun Craze with Blackberry Bliss. This is just a dark ink pad and it, as you can see, it looks fine stamped on these. And then... We're going to take our pumpkins, and the cool thing that Stampin' Up, you guys, most of you know, has started doing is on the smaller dies, we've actually got two dies of these little pumpkins. These little pumpkins, both of these dies cut out the same thing so that you can stamp them multiple times and cut out multiples at a time, two in this case, but it's pretty cool, I do have to say. So... We are going to die cut these pumpkins and we're going to die cut this little pumpkin. Let me get this back in here. And through the magic of TV, I've already done that. Now, the next thing that you need to do is take this leaf. Now, this die cuts and embosses at the same time. And I used the copper foil 
to run that through my Big Shot and it creates this beautifulness. Woo! Isn't that pretty? I hope you can see how gorgeous that is because it is lovely. So let me put this back in here. So we've got these three elements and Jenny just said, take a breath. I'm like, oh, I'm taking a breath, Jenny. I promise I'm taking a breath. All right. Um, the smaller white layer. Oh, do you hear my cat? He is under the table meowing because he wants to go outside. And Kyle, you're going to need to go. Go. I'm not. He just ran towards the door like I'm going to go let him out, but I'm not. So don't tell him. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> okay. So what I wanted to do here was I'm going to take my crumb cake marker and I'm going to flick it on the smaller white layer. I wanted to just tone down that white cardstock a little bit. So that's what I did there. And then we're going to take the Gather Together. Let's see if I can get a hold of it. And I'm going to stamp that right down there with the Blackberry Bliss ink. Okay, where did that, oh, here's our circle. I'm gonna take our circle. Ooh, I don't even have any glue out yet. Yeah, I'm watching this on my screen, Valerie, and it, mine isn't blurry either. So, oh, let me see if my messages are. Yep, my screen isn't scrolling again. Yeah, <laughs> Wendy says she thought she heard me yelling. You did. That was Kyle. Kyle is named after the South Park character, Kyle. <laughs> and he is our, one of our cats. We have two cats, and Kyle is just my favorite. I really like Kyle. I don't care for the other cat. She's kind of not very nice. <laughs> But I'm good to her. Don't get me wrong. I'm not mean to her or anything. I just don't like her. She doesn't like me either. <laughs> so it's mutual. Okay, then I'm going to take this beautiful ribbon. This is part of the Come Together Ribbon Combo Pack. I've got some tape on it here. I'm going to take it and I'm going to just tie it in a loose knot. Just like this. And then we're going to... Trim this off, just like that. That might be a little longer than I need. I might have to trim it up a little bit more. Yep, I think I'm gonna trim it up just a little bit more. Okay, now this side looks too long. Pretty soon we'll be chopping the whole thing, right? Okay, and first thing I'm gonna do is glue down my leaf. This is the copper one. Come on, there we go. And I'm gonna put that right in here and then I'm gonna come in oh I stamped these backwards well that's okay I wanted this pumpkin to be Cajun craze but whatever so we're gonna set this one right down here and then I'm gonna add oh hang on you guys because that basket that went off the side those were my dimensionals so let me grab some my dimensionals just went right over the side of my desk. And I just happen to have a brand new pack right here. And that's another mess I'll have to clean up in a little bit when we're done tonight. Okay, then I'm gonna take these pumpkins and I'm gonna put them right down at the bottom here. Oh, and my mini glue dots went over the edge too. Let me grab. Let me grab, I think I've got a brand new pack right here. I do, yay me. I'm gonna put a mini glue dot right on this one. And here we go. I'm gonna tuck that right up under the pumpkins here. Now wait till we put this together. I thought this was a really cool layout. So we're gonna take, oops, let's take this layer And we're going to add it to the pumpkin pie layer. Now the pumpkin pie layer, did I say it's three and five eighths by four and seven eighths? Isn't that looking cool already? Yeah. And then, come on glue. I'm going to mount this one right here. Now if you wanted to, you could, I could have put this whole layer on dimensionals, but I wasn't thinking from time to time. 
Then we're going to take our other greeting and I'm going to stamp this in the um, Blackberry Bliss. It says, May this season bring you smiles and love that will last all year. And I think Debbie Peters is watching. She's one of my team members. She did her inside on her card. I shared her card on Friday. And she did the inside of her card. Hang on, is that crooked? Yeah, it's pretty crooked. Let's try that again. I'm, that's not going to make me very happy. Oh, that's so much better. Okay. And then um, crumb cake ink with the wheat sprigs. And doesn't that just look nice? Yeah, it looks really nice. And we're going to put this on the inside of our card. Then we still have an envelope that needs a little bit of decorating. And the Blackberry Bliss on this just is so rich. There's Kyle again. He's relentless. Steve, if you're watching this, come and let Kyle outside. He's making me crazy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Envelope. I think what we're going to do with that is I'm going to take this big. And, oh, you guys, I was calling this an oak leaf last week, and somebody told me it's actually a maple leaf. So... Yeah, I'm a little tree illiterate, but thank you for telling me that because now I can inform you guys correctly. Look at how pretty that is. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, I love this bundle, you guys. It is beautiful. And if you don't have it, these there's three, three different leaves that do the um, embossing and the die cutting at the same time and they are so rich and gorgeous and of course they look fantastic on the foil paper so I highly recommend this whole entire suite of products and I have the kit so you'll get eight cards you get four different designs you'll have four more ideas I shared one on Friday holy cow that's a lot of different designs with the same bundle all right, let me put some of this stuff away. I think next we are going to do a treat holder and a matching card. Oh, let me set this. I'm just going to set this over here. Let me get rid of these. What are you guys drinking tonight? Right before I went live, I went and made myself a strawberry lemonade. Because my, my bottle was empty and I'm like, oh my gosh, I got to have something to drink. Okay, let's see. Next, we are going to... Where did that bin go? Here it is. All right. We're going to make a really cute... treat holder. Now, my treat holder is for Halloween, but you could use this design for any occasion. Even like baby shower, wedding shower, um, Christmas. This would be a great thing for Secret Santa at Christmas if you have that at work. Or you need a teacher gift. This is just the cutest idea. Okay, on. Oh, look, here's some more mini glue dots. And I've got all kinds of scraps here. And some more dimensionals. All right. If you guys could see the rest of my office right now, you would probably cringe. All right. Here we go. Where's the stamp set? Right here. This is the Spooktacular Bash stamp set. And then, oh, good. I'm like, where's the paper? It's right here. Look at this Monster Bash Designer Series paper. This is so much fun. Now, I know that I have a lot of demonstrators watching me, and it never fails the, when I don't talk about this sampler sheet. Everybody asks questions about it. So people ask if I could send this to them. How do you, you know, what is it? This is something I pay for this template um, in a meeting planner that I order every month. But all this is, is a piece of white cardstock with the name of the designer series paper typed up here and the coordinating colors from the designer series paper that's listed right on the package. You just type this at the top of your sheet or the bottom of your sheet, or you can do it this way, however you want. 
You just type that and print it out. And then all of these squares are two by two, and these are one inch circles in the coordinating colors. So that's how I make these samplers. And I really like being able to show you guys a little snippet of each piece of designer series paper in one easy contained area, right? Because then you can go like, oh my goodness, look at how pretty that paper is. Okay, so that's what that is. And the Spectacular Bash, also in the suite of products, is the Monster Bash Enamel Dots. So you get gray and black enamel dots. I should say shapes, but these are the enamel dots. You get some crows, you get some skeletons, and you get some like grave markers. So these are super cool for all of your Halloween and even non-Halloween stuff, right? We also have... Um, this beautiful scalloped edge ribbon, it's 3 8 inches wide. You get 10 yards on a roll. And it's just black. So it's perfect to go with this whole suite. Um, here's what we're going to do. Let me bring in, where's my paper trimmer? Right here. Okay, I'm going to bring in this paper trimmer. Ingrid says you could laminate the paper, paper sampler. Well, you could if you wanted to, but... From a demonstrator standpoint, Ingrid, this is only going to last till the end of December and then we don't have this paper anymore. So I don't know if I would go to the trouble of doing that, but you certainly could. Okay, this is the cool designer series paper that I'm using. On one side, it's all these funky little frames with the crazy little Halloween um, characters, images. The other side is this cool The Ghoul's Gazette, which is neat. So I've got a piece of this designer series paper, and this is two by 10. I have to share that my team member, Jody Peterson, shared a fall treat folder using this little design. So I'm just doing a Halloween one. And I am going to score this two by 10 inch piece of designer series paper at two, four, six, and eight. So two, four, six, and eight, we're scoring this. Then I'm going to bring out our clear tiny treat boxes. Now these little acetate treat boxes are in our annual catalog. And I'm actually gonna bring them up because I don't remember how much they are and I wanna make sure that I don't give you the wrong dollar amount. So clear tiny treat boxes on page 173. You get 16 boxes for $7.50. So that's really cool. And I just thought this would be so cute if you have any little goblins, if you have any children or grandchildren that need treat things for school or a special treat to give to the teacher, this is a really cute idea. So, oh, let me grab that plastic back so you can see what I just ex did exactly. So each one of these little treat boxes is covered with some plastic and you just peel that off. It protects it and keeps it from getting scratched up while it's being transported to you. And then you just pop these up. They're all scored. You wanna make sure you push down on each score line and bring it back. I'm gonna push the top flap all the way in and then push it back out. I know it's hard to see this because they're clear. Same thing with that. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the bottom pieces. Push them in, pull them back out. Push them in, pull them back out. Push it in, pull it out. And there's even instructions in the pack for this bottom part. So what you do is you push this part in first. Yeah, so you push this with the hole in it first, then the sides, and then the one with the tab on it, that gets pushed down into that little hole, and everything pops together. There we go, just like that. So once you do one, you'll get it. But there are, um, where'd that bag go? Oh, here it is. There's instructions in here that show you exactly how to do this. So the tab piece is the last one that goes in, and then you have your bottom. Okay. Um, yeah, sure. those are on page, the boxes are on page 173, I think I said. All right, let me get some shreds. Hang on. 
I've got some Halloween shred that I picked up. And again, like I said, you could use this for Christmas. You could use this for Thanksgiving. This would make a great little place setting for all your guests at Thanksgiving. Baby shower, any type of event. This is just a really cute little idea and it's super simple to make and it's very inexpensive. So we're going to do this. And then I have a whole bunch of samples to show you. So wait for that. All right, now I'm going to grab some candy to put in here. Okay, now I decide which candy I want. I think I'm gonna do some candy kisses. So we're just gonna take some of these, drop them right in here. That looks good. And there's our little box that we're gonna decorate. Now we can close this up. Maybe, you gotta be smarter than the box, you guys. There we go. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna fold on all of these score lines. And I want the um, newsprint to be the outside of my box. I'm gonna take a little bit of tear and tape and I'm gonna put it on the very bottom, maybe, there we go, of my box. So here's my, here's my score lines and I'm gonna put it right in here on the bottom, just like that. Bring out a pokey tool here. So Marilyn, you said you've had to reload four times so far. Are you saying that your internet is not working well tonight? I think that's maybe what you're saying. So now this goes right on the very bottom. That's where I put the tear tape and I just wanted it there to secure that paper so it's not sliding all over the place. Okay, next thing we're gonna do, we're going to do a little bit of stamping and I think on this one, I would like this little ghost. Kyle, I can't let you outside. Can you hear the cat? It's like, go away. <laughs> he just wants to go outside. See, now if I didn't have my phone up here doing a video, I would text Steve and tell him to get in here and let the cat out. But I can't. Kyle will be fine. Okay, next I'm going to take my pumpkin pie marker. And you've got this cute little frame that goes all around this little ghost. And I'm just going to color it in. You could use your Stampin' Blends here. I'm just using a Stampin' Right marker because it's got a nice tip on it. Ooh, I'm a little shaky tonight, too. Probably because my adrenaline was running. So I never took a shower so fast in my life, you guys. <laughs> and my water does not heat up very fast upstairs in my shower. So I had to wait for the water to warm up. And oh, my Lord, I came in the bathroom. I thought I was going to burst. I had to go to the bathroom so bad. Too much information. <laughs> Oh, so I'm just a little, little shaky yet. Okay, there we go. Now, the cool thing about this stamp set is it does come in a bundle. Let me show you all the goodies, okay? So you have all these ornate frames, and this bundle is actually called Ornate Frames. You've got this and these and, oh, this it doesn't belong in there. Um, all these cool little frames that come in here. So even if you're not a Halloween fan, I really recommend this because there's some cool stuff in here. Now, um, one of the, oh, here it is. This little frame is also from that set and it cuts out this image and also our Dracula. So you're gonna cut that out. Hang on, I'm gonna do that. In my big shot. Give me just a second to make this happen. There we go. Let's see if I get it straight and it doesn't move. Nope, I didn't. I completely messed it up. So, lucky for me, I already have one right here but I didn't color it yet. So, what other stories can I tell you while I have to color this one because I messed that one up? Let's see. Um, I 
don't know. What can I tell you? Oh, I know. There's probably people out there who are like, what do you do with a bear? Well, if you're going to harvest a bear, you should eat the bear. And bears are from the pig family. So then people say, well, do they taste like pork? No, not really. They taste like kind of a rich beef. And my mom has this amazing recipe, and it's called the three envelope recipe. And you may have used it with beef. You can use it with beef, elk, buffalo, pork, anything you want. But you take an envelope of brown gravy mix, an envelope of uh, Italian seasoning, and an envelope of something else. Come on, Kelly. I can't remember. Oh, ranch dressing. So all three dry packets, you add that with one can of beer to a crock pot and cook your meat. And that's how we cook our bear meat. And it is delicious. Like the best thing I've ever had. It's so good. So there's your little recipe for any type of big chunk of meat. <laughs> okay, here's our little ghost guy. Now that I cut him out properly and had to color him again, I'm going to add him to this ornate frame that I just cut out of a black scrap. Now we're gonna bring this in here. I've got our mini library clips. There's white and silver in here. So I'm just going to pinch together the top of my little um, treat box designer series paper. These are kind of hard to get a hold of, so hang on while I Oh, that wasn't too bad. I fussed with it one day for a long time. Okay, there we go. Isn't that cute? And it looks like a little milk carton. Now I'm going to take, let's see, I'm going to add some more dimensionals. Oh my goodness, Kyle is, he's relentless, isn't he? He does not like that I am ignoring him. <laughs> I'm going to add this to the front. Now you want to make sure that your ornate frame doesn't go below where this is going to sit on the table. So I just kind of put my finger there. I put a dimensional on there to put that on there. And then last but not least, I wanted a little embellishment with this fun black ribbon. So I took it and tied it in a loose knot. I'm gonna give it a mini glue dot on the back. And put that right there. What do you guys think? Is that not the cutest? Now again, you could do these with any, for any occasion. I'm just leave that lay there. Let me move this stuff out of the way so I can show you the other ones that I have here. Um, here we go. I have an event coming up this next weekend. I'm going to be in Crystal Lake, Illinois. I'm doing a business presentation to Stampin' Up! demonstrators. And I have a whole bunch of these little treat holders that are all made with the different designer series paper. So let me bring, let me get these out of the way before I lose them. I've got that paper. Here comes the books. This is the book design on here and the Dracula. What else? I have the mad scientist with all the jars of specimens. And oh, here are the little pictures of all the characters. What do you guys think? Is this not the cutest thing ever? I know, I can't hardly wait. So I have 23 of these boxes. Okay, so I've, here's here's all of them. I don't want to smash what I have on the table here. But I have 23 of these little boxes. And I am in a Halloween swap for Halloween treat holders at this event that's in Illinois. So if any of you are coming to Illinois next weekend and you joined the um, treat holder swap, that's what I'm giving out. So it should be super, super fun. All right. Let me get some of the stuff out of my way now. Again, clean up. I have another project to show you. And I'm going to throw that over in the corner. <laughs> yep, things are flying in here. I think I can put this one away. 
I'm going to put these away. Okay. Now, I have another card to show you. Oops. And if you recall, where did my card go? Hang on, I've lost it. It's here someplace. Oh, here it is. If you recall, I made some pop-up cards for my Wednesday tip video. And you can go back to my blog right here, www.estampabove.com. Scroll down until you see these pop-up cards. But I made um, two pop-up cards, and I promised that I would show you what I did with them today on Facebook Live. So I'm going to take this one with the orange center and the little um, purple Dracula guy, and we're going to finish this. Now, I've got, I didn't write my measurements down for this one, so hang, hang tight. I've got three by five on this white layer. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stamp the little greeting. So glad we're such ghoul friends. And we're going to use Memento Black Ink for that. Oh, Pat says they did the same thing in Eagle River. Are you talking about the little treat holders? Cause yeah, they're super fun, right? There we go. And then, let's, let me look here. I think I'll put that away. Now I'm going to bring in some elements here. Where is it? Here's a piece of white. Oh, by the way, this is going to go on the inside of our card. So let's just get that in there right away. I'm getting almost tired of fighting with my glue bottle because it needs to be thrown away. But, you know, I'm kind of frugal. <laughs> I like to get the last ounce out of it. So there's the layer that I put on the inside of my pop-up card. And now we're gonna roll with the front. This black layer is four by five and a quarter. And then I've got this Monster Bash Designer Series paper. This is three and seven eighths by four and seven eighths. Yep, I think I'm right. Oh, five, is that right? Oh, cause this was five and a quarter. So five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. Boy, I almost blew that, didn't I? So I'm gonna put this right on this black layer. It's just gonna give us that tiny little 16th of an inch of black on there that's gonna make the card pop. Okay, what are we gonna do next? Next, I would like to take this Whisper White. This side has like little splatters on it, so I'm gonna use this side. And I'm going to stamp with the Have a Spooktacular Halloween. Okay. And then in our ornate frames, we have this image or this shape that perfectly cuts this out. And through the magic of TV, I have done that. So we have this layer. And then remember this rectangle layer that I almost put in with these? This is from our rectangle shapes, um, which is a whole set of dies. I really like these two, you guys. If you don't have them yet, consider putting them on your wish list because they're fantastic. And I die cut a piece of pumpkin pie with this frame. And this is the one that's just a little tiny bit bigger than this frame. So that's how you can tell which one do I use. That's the one, the one that's a little bit bigger than this one. And I got this idea from my team member and friend, Kathy Miller, because she gave me a swap card that layered this like this. And I thought that is so creative, right? Okay. Then we're going to take some of that ribbon. Let me find it. What did I do with it? Here it is. I'm going to take some of this ribbon and I'm going to put this across the front. Uh, 
just about like that. We're going to tape this on the back. Whoops, hang on, hang on. I got things all over the place sticking to each other. I got regular tape here. You could also use mini glue dots for this if you don't have regular tape on your desk. Mini glue dots work really good. I don't recommend tape runners with ribbon. They just, I don't know, it just doesn't stick that great. Then I'm going to pop this up on some dimensionals. And I'm going to put one at the top and one at the bottom so we can straddle the ribbon. I don't like my dimensionals on the ribbon because then it, it, your thing kind of moves around. I don't like that. It's a weird thing with me, but kind of anal about that. Here we go. Now, if we wanted to, we could add another piece over here. <laughs> Luba says she cooked dinner also but kept running to the phone to watch Kelly. Well, bless your heart, Luba. <laughs> I love that. I haven't had dinner yet. I will have to see what Steve has in the refrigerator because I was gone all weekend. Well, he was gone, but he left on Thursday. <gasps> Look at how cute that is, you guys. Okay, here comes our glue. And I've got a crumb cake card base here. Let me make sure I've got, got this straight and even and all that good stuff. Now, this all by itself is really cute, you guys. But I'm going to bring in this piece. And this piece is going to go right up here. That's another one of the ornate frames. That's this one right here. And then I also used... Let me get it. Hang on. This one. Whoops, I just cranked it. Okay, so I've got this one and this one. So here's this one. Here's this one. I'm going to take that designer series paper and I'm just going to pick one of these little images. And I think I really like this guy right here. So I am just going to cut him out with my scissors and I want him to fit behind this little frame and I think he's gonna look great in here hang on a second this is the part that I didn't do ahead of time so I'm just gonna come in here be careful so you don't cut your frame and trim him off And I'm just kind of slide my scissors under there a little bit. There we go. Now I'm going to add some glue to the edges. Whoops. Got a little bit more than I wanted. There we go. Slide it over there. Hang on clean that mess up, <clears throat> excuse me, and then I'm going to take this and add it to my card, right, whoops, I see one of the little things needs to be poked out, there we go, add this to my card right here, oops, hang on, it's crooked, there we go, it wasn't moving for me, okay, and then I'm going to pop this up on a dimensional. i got to hold this up so I can see what's going on here. I love this. So cute. Look at how cute that is. Isn't that adorable? I love this with that rectangle behind it. So kudos to you, Kathy Miller, because this was a genius little idea. This is also cool with that. It looks like, you know, I don't know, what do they call that when you have that thing in the background and then you put your picture on it? Whatever that's called, I like it. And then of course, it uses the pop-up that I showed you guys how to make last Wednesday. So what do you think? Isn't this cool? I love this one. Oh, I see Bonnie just joined us. Hi, Bonnie. Okay, you guys, let's check this out now. If you missed me from the beginning, I wanted to let you know that I am going to be drawing the winners a little bit later after we're done because I got home late from my um, hunting trip 
Next weekend, I am also going to be hunting. I want you to know that. So if I pop in and say I'm running late, I shouldn't, you know. But if I do, I just want you to know it's a possibility. So, you know, be ready for that if it happens. Because I can't just leave my hunting crew. You can't just go, oh, sorry, i got to leave. That isn't the way we operate. So we're there to support each other and stay until everybody's back to camp. And then here are the little treat holders. Aren't they sweet? Now this is going to be just the sweetest little gift together with the card, right? Did we make something else? Let me look. I think that's, we made the treat holder and the Halloween card and this beautiful card with the gather together. Now, if anybody needs to place an order, I always appreciate your orders. This is my blog. You can go right to that. Um, if you're watching later on YouTube, there's going to be a link right up here that you can click on. That'll take you right to my blog where you're going to find an online ordering button in the right-hand column. The current host code is always right in that right-hand column on my blog, but this is it for right now. Use that code if your order is under $150. If your order is over $150, do not use the code because you're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up! And I definitely want you to have those. Um, what else can I... Oh, if you're... Give me a thumbs up, you guys. Don't forget to share. That really helps me out a lot. I so appreciate that. When you're doing that share... Share it to your own personal profile. That's where the most benefit comes from. Um, also, if you're watching later on YouTube, don't forget to click down here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't want to miss anything I have coming out. Lots of great ideas with this holiday mini catalog. And if you happen to need one of those, I don't know what I did with mine now, but if you happen to need a mini catalog, here it is. Don't hesitate to email me your um, email address, and I would be happy to send you one. Yeah. Does anybody have any questions that I missed? I'm just so grateful to you guys for waiting for me to get home, and then more importantly, waiting for me to take a shower because I felt so grungy. I can't even tell you. I hadn't showered since Friday, and I was smelly, and yeah, it was gross. Maybe that's, is that too much information, you guys? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I think I'm going to flip this camera back around. Hang on. Here we are. Here I'm back. So I don't think I missed any questions. I tried to watch really good. But if you do happen to have any questions, let me know. Jamie's asking, what are you hunting for? We were bear hunting. It's bear hunting season here in Wisconsin. So bow hunting for deer is coming up shortly. So we're um, looking forward to that also. I am, this is a time of year where it gets pretty rough on me. <laughs> and I'm not whining or complaining because I love it. But um, I'm gone every weekend now until after Thanksgiving for the most part. Because it's bear hunting, then it's bow hunting, then it's gun hunting. And we are a hunting family. So, And you guys don't have a lot to worry about because my bow hunting adventures in all the years I've bow hunted. And Haley's 25 now. And I think I started bow hunting when she was about 8 or 9, maybe. I've only ever gotten one deer. <laughs> they don't have a lot to worry about. <laughs> but I so enjoy it. It's so peaceful. And, and um, Can we see Kyle? No, you know what? Kyle is gone. Kyle, stop bugging us. But I will, if he comes back in here, one of these times I'll let you see Kyle. He's gone. He's a gray and black, you know, black and gray striped cat. He's just a, he's a really cool cat. I love him a lot. So, we are happy. No smell of vision <laughs> Thanks for showing. I know, right? <laughs> You're so funny. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, I feel, I smell good. <laughs> My husband's grateful too. Yeah. do I, No, I don't kill any Bambies. No, I don't do that. So, um, all right, you guys. I am going to let you go. Oh, um, Linda Gilbert says she had a question earlier. Oh, and Susan said, even in your rush, you have your makeup on. Actually, the only thing I put on was some mascara and some eyeliner so I didn't freak you guys out. <laughs> 
Yes, yeah, so I don't have any eyeshadow on. I don't have nothing else, but that's it. Yeah, venison is good eating. Yeah, you are absolutely right. Who just said that? Robin, you have to you have to t take care of it properly or it's not any good. Venison. Yeah, we know that. Yeah. Okay. All right, you guys. I am going to let you go. I will be back here next Sunday night at 7 p.m. Central Time. And, oh, when is the Purple Posy Ink Pad going to be available? Brenda, um, was it Crawford or Can Canford? Hang on, let me look, Brenda. Um, she wants to know when that's going to be. Crawford. Um, it has met Stampin' Up's um, quality standards. They have the the problem ironed out that was going on with the Posy ink pad. And we do expect it to be available soon, but we don't have a date yet. So um, it is, it, they, they have it fixed. So that's really good news, right? Because I know a lot of you are waiting to buy all of the ink pads in one shot. And so, yeah, um, it is fixed and it will, it will be available soon, but I don't know what the date is. So, oh, Tanya, don't worry. I'm going to I'm gonna sign off here in a second. I'll post this to my Facebook page. You can watch it anytime. So, all right, you guys. Next Sunday, 7 p.m. Central Time. Um, I think I have a blog hop coming up this week, maybe. Go check out that kit if you're interested. If you like kits, I kind of do all the work for you, and you just get to have all the fun. <laughs> kits are really fun. And... Um, let me know if you have any questions about that, too. All right, you guys. Bye-bye. Thank you for tuning in. I always appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up.